Hi, welcome to the last part of this module. In this presentation, we will compare the liver and the pancreas of different domestic animals. Let us first discuss the liver. As shown here are the parietal surface of the liver of different domestic animals. The liver is the largest gland in the body and is important in the digestive system because of the production of bile. Bile is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder before being drained into the duodenum. There is a great variation in size between the different species and even between individuals of the same species, largely depending on the body weight and age. In cats, it is around 2% body weight, 3-4% to in dogs, 2-3% to in pigs, and around 1-1.5% to in herbivores like ruminants and horses. Note also that species vary in the number of lobes present and with the presence or absence of the gallbladder. Before we proceed per species, let us have a quick review on the lobation of the liver. In most species, the liver is grossly divided into four main lobes by fissures that extend into the organ from the ventral border. The left hepatic lobe, the right hepatic lobe, the caudate lobe, and the quadrate lobe. The lobation patterns differ greatly among species. Species in which the spine is very mobile, such as the dogs and the cats, have more subdivisions than species with a more rigid spine like in the ruminants. Further, the lobes are divided into sublobes and processes. Let us take a look at the liver of the dog as it has the complete lobation and sublobations. The left hepatic lobe is divided into left lateral and left medial lobes. The same is true on the right side of the liver. The right hepatic lobe is divided into right lateral hepatic lobe and right medial hepatic lobe. The caudate lobe is further subdivided into processes, the papillary process and the caudate process. The quadrate process remained undivided as shown here. This is the complete general pattern of liver lobation which is present in both dogs and in cats. The liver of the pig resembles that of the dog in terms of lobation. However, the papillary process of the caudate lobe is missing as shown here. Grossly, the parenchyma of the liver of the pig is described to have an appearance somewhat close to the Morocco leather pattern. An image of the Morocco leather and the actual pig liver is provided for comparison. In horse, the same with the pig, the papillary process of the caudate lobe is missing. In addition, the right hepatic lobe is not divided into lateral and medial sublobes. Interestingly, horses lack gallbladder. In ruminants, the lobation is not as evident as with the previously discussed animals. Both the left and right hepatic lobes are not further subdivided into lateral and medial lobes. The caudate lobe is divided into papillary and caudate processes while the quadrate lobe is undivided. In birds, only two lobes are present, the left hepatic lobe and the right hepatic lobe. Depending on the species, these lobes may be further subdivided to form smaller processes. Note that gallbladder is present in birds and is located at the right lobe. However, it is absent in most pigeon and parrot species. Next, we move to the pancreas. Pancreas is an irregularly lobulated organ that lies adjacent to the proximal duodenum and frequently abuts the stomach, the caudal vena cava, and the caudal part of the liver as well. It has a left and right lobe and a body which connects the two lobes. We can compare the pancreas based on their appearance in general. In dogs, the pancreas has a right and left branches which meet at an acute angle. They shape like a letter V. In horses, it is massive and triangular in shape. It has a compact body with short right and long left lobes as shown here. In pigs, the pancreas has a large body and left lobe with a small right lobe. In ruminants, it is irregular to quadrilateral in shape. The right lobe is larger than the left. 
We can also compare the pancreas based on the presence or absence of a specific pancreatic duct. As a review, pancreas conveys its secretion to the duodenum via two ducts. The pancreatic duct or the duct of Wiersung and the accessory pancreatic duct or the duct of Santorini. The pancreatic duct is more cranial and usually the smaller duct and opens into a small elevation within the duodenum or the major duodenal papilla in common with the bile duct from the liver. On the other hand, the accessory pancreatic duct, despite its name, is the main conduit of the gland and is constant. This is larger and opens on the minor duodenal papilla. Now, let us compare the presence or absence of pancreatic and accessory pancreatic duct among domestic animals. In dogs, both the pancreatic and the accessory pancreatic ducts are present. In cats, only the pancreatic duct is present. In large ruminants like cattle and water buffalo, only the accessory pancreatic duct is present. In small ruminants, only the pancreatic duct is present. While in horse, both ducts are present. In pigs, only the accessory pancreatic duct is present. In birds, the pancreas lies between the ascending and the descending duodenum or the duodenal loop. The ascending duodenum contains openings for the pancreatic ducts, which is three in gallinaceous birds like chicken, and usually two to three in anseriformes like in ducks. And that ends our module on the digestive system.